I want to give you another tool in this series of reality creation mechanisms, thoughts, and processes. Many people that I see as clients, whether they've been to other seminars, read books, you know, the movie The Secret was a really big one. Um, these processes, these ideas, these philosophies teach ways to create reality. But for many people, when they get done watching The Secret or they get done with a seminar, they have a very difficult time going back into their life and creating reality or creating a version of reality that feels really good to them. So where The Secret says that you can just manifest your red bicycle or manifest money, People tell me all the time, well, I'm trying to manifest money and it's not working for me. I tried for two months. And so I want to teach you a tool that I think is going to have incredible value for you to understand why many people struggle with how to do this. Now, this is an actual exercise. I'm going to show you some things. I'm going to demonstrate some things. And I'm actually going to exaggerate a little bit, but actually not a lot. And I'll point that out in the exercise where I am exaggerating and you can make decisions as to whether you think this is really you or not. But at the conclusion of this, I want you to sit down and really look at how you are creating reality, how you're manifesting, how you're intending. Use whatever verb or word that you want. But in this place of you are now focused on getting what you want, I want you to think of an equation. Now, because I'm a mechanical engineer and a science in my background, in order to create an intention or in order to create the reality tool, it was easier for me to put it in a mathematical formula. So don't get turned off by the math. It's not giantly hard to calculate, but it is a math equation. And the equation is this, R equals A times EIM times T. So let me tell you what the piece parts mean. R in this equation is reality, or as you can see on my chart, LOA, because sometimes I will use law of attraction interchangeably. Now, if you're kind of new agey and you understand that, awesome. If you're not new agey or you don't have that belief system, it's still okay. What it's saying is you have a reality that's happening to you. Let's figure out what your role is in that equation of life. So A is the ask. And in the ask, in the movie The Secret, it did a great job of teaching you that ask for what you want, not what you don't want. And you've seen in some of my other video segments that when you ask for what you don't want, i.e. don't spill the milk, the probability that you're going to actually get what you don't want is a much higher probability. So whether you're teaching and following neural patterns or you're learning and, and following new age energy attractions, it doesn't matter. When you ask for what you want, you get a one in this equation. When you're asking for what you don't want, which means the problem, the pain, or as we learned in one of our other segments, less pain becomes the real driver. The ask in this equation is a minus one. And the reason why it only gets a value of one, because in any system that we're looking at, whether it's new age, quantum physics, biblical, the Bible matches the system. Whatever it is that you ask for, whatever entity you think is granting it, whether it's a higher power, whether it's a universe, whether it's an energy form, and it's coming from Einstein's quantum physics, there is no difference or no challenge in asking for something bigger than smaller because the power of this planet and the power of your mind to create has no bigger or smaller value. You get for what you ask for. There's no difference between a million dollars, $10 million and a parking space. It's just a request for energy, for an outcome of that energy to be provided to you. And when you understand that, that I'm gonna tap into this river of energy, this river of potentiality, you're just merely asking for, or in, in essence, you're asking for not to be in the river of potentiality because you're focused on the problem, you're focused on the pain, or you're focused on what you don't want. Now, the second piece of this is EIM. Now you're probably asking yourself, what's an EIM? And that'd be a great question because it's actually a box that I invented. It's solely my invention. In the secret, in the movie, and again in other systems, the second step after you ask is that you have to believe in your request. 
And in the movie The Secret and in other systems, they do a great job of telling you how you believe in something when it's not in reality is you put the emotion in your body that you would have when the object or the desire is present in your life. You put the emotion in your body you would have. So if you're asking for money, you have to put the emotion of wealth, prosperity and abundance in your body. Now, for the folks watching this video, and if you try and tell me like, well, I think that's disingenuous, or is that fake it till you make it, or is that some other science that I don't really believe that I feel good about putting a belief in my body that doesn't exist, I'm gonna challenge you. Because you know what? The 90% of you that aren't getting what you want, you do that today anyway. And you know how you do it? You do it this way. You're driving to your appointment, thinking about, I've got to win this business. What emotion do you have in your body for something that hasn't happened yet? Most of you, you'll have anxiety. You'll have fear. Oh, I'm going to lose this. I can't lose this. I don't want to lose this. Oh, this is, if this, I can't make my mortgage pay. Oh, this is, ah, oh, this is terrible. You will go in a negative way into the future, into a reality that doesn't exist. Think of all the times you've been anxious about an outcome that you fear. And that emotion is intensely present in your body. And in that space, you are putting the emotion in your body, only it's based on what you don't want. And that's gonna come back later in a few minutes. But if you understand that emotions are the catalyst, the lighter fluid, the jet fuel, the rocket propulsion, for creating the desire, the manifestation, the energy, the outcome, the reality that you want. Well, as a scientist and as somebody that's focused on results, I need to measure that. So this is my mythical box called the emotional intensity meter. And all it is is a simple box. You can put it in front of the table in front of you. You'll have it in front of you when I go through this demonstration. It's just a needle that goes from zero to 10. Zero being low intensity, 10 being high intensity. And it's not 10 is positive and zero is negative. It is intensity because the emotion you have in your body, the more intense that it is, the better the outcome is being driven that you're either asking for or not asking for. But the point is, 10 is a very intense emotion. And when you look at this one to 10 scale, intensity, when you think about it, think of the Richter scale. That measures the intensity of an earthquake. And if you understand, particularly with recent events on this planet, we've talked a lot about the intensity of earthquakes. When you go from a 5.0 to a 6.0 on the Richter scale, did the earthquake get one worse or did the earthquake get 10 worse? And yes, the answer is a Richter scale of six is 10 times worse, 10 times more intensity, 10 times more energy release than a 5.0. And on my emotional intensity meter, it's a Richter scale. So when you go from a five to a six in intensity, you are taking that by a factor of 10. And the last equation is T, stands for time. We just measure that in hours. And so with this very simple equation, we can measure how you're driving reality. And so for a lot of people that come into my office and they say, oh, Bill, I'm working very hard at manifesting. Um, I'm focused on an hour every morning. I'm creating incredible wealth and prosperity for myself. What I will actually do is I'll put them in the chair I'll put them in state and I'll say, manifest exactly like you manifest at home. And so again, I said there'd be a little bit of exaggeration, but it's not much. So what you need as you watch this video is put the emotional intensity box in front of you. And I want you to look at me while I'm manifesting wealth and intensity. And I want you to look at the meter between zero and 10. And so generally people do something like this. They take a deep breath, they kind of close their eyes kind of clear their head and it's like, okay, um, ooh, yeah, I'm feeling money. Ah. Money, 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 money. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so great. Ah, oh, awesome money. Oh, I just wrote a check to my favorite charity. Oh, I just bought something for my spouse. Oh, money, 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 money. That feels. And I want you to look at the emotional intensity meter. What was it? 
And the truth is, there's quite a few of out there that said, well, that's high intensity. Well, even if you felt me a little bit in this video clip or other video clips, that's not high intensity. What I'm really doing is thinking the emotion. I'm not feeling it. What I'm really doing is, oh, that feels so good over there with wild money over there, over there when I write the check over there. All of that feels good over there. It's not in my body. So when the law says, put the emotion, put the catalyst in your body, because again, remember, if you're driving to your appointment this afternoon and you're really worried about it, you have high intensity anxiety or fear in your body. Many of you are doing this today. You're just doing it in the negative. And so that was somebody sitting at their desk saying, I did this for a whole hour. My ask was for money. If you really look at the fact on a scale of one to 10, that's probably a point two, but hey, I'm a highly emotional guy. I'll give myself a two for the point of the example. And I spent an hour doing it. I now generated an energy value on, in my brain, the neural peptides. If you look at it from neural patterns, quantum physics, however you want to look at it, we'll give it a relative intensity, a relative energy value of two. Now, People then drive to work and they're feeling good because they've manifested money. They sit down in their chair, they're feeling awesome. They open up their email and then again, slightly exaggerated, but not much. They do something like this. Oh, I took Friday off. It was a great day. I left instructions on Thursday for the customer service center in Phoenix. I hope they processed my order. I'm sure they did because I'm manifesting a lot of success for myself. Oh my God, oh, they screwed the order up. Oh, look what Phoenix did. Oh, oh this, is, this, is, this is maddening. I, I, I can't believe that they did that. Your cube mate goes, oh, oh, Bill, what's the matter? I'm like, oh, Phoenix, they screwed the order up. Your cube mate goes, oh, they screwed me last week. Let's go to lunch and talk about how bad Phoenix is. And so now I'm going, oh my God, this is a disaster. My boss is going to be mad. The customer is going to be mad. Oh, and even if you're not vocal like this, I call it the fist of doom. You're sitting there just smoldering with this fist of doom in your stomach going, this is a disaster. This is terrible. I can't believe I needed this order to make my mortgage payment this month. And now look at the emotional intensity meter sitting on your table. Is that a low, medium, or high intensity? Yeah, that's high. Because as you look at these laws and say, oh, Bill, I only manifested for an hour, or I only created for an hour, or I watched The Secret and I did it for two months and I'm not doing it anymore. No, 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 no. You are creating 24 seven because when you get really good at this, you can even command your dreams to create for you when you're really, really good. But the point is in your conscious waking hours, even if you're sitting there watching TV and it's just mind candy and you don't have any emotional intensity and then you ask yourself, what are you asking for? The answer is nothing. And so you'll spend four hours watching TV or two hours watching TV asking for nothing. Guess what the world's going to cook up and deliver you? Nothing. Or if there's competing intentions out there that a spouse wants to give you pain or a kid wants to give you pain or a colleague wants to give you pain, they're manifesting pain for you. You're manifesting at a zero level nothing. You've got a problem. But in this world where I sat at my desk and where in the morning I asked for one times two times one and got a two, I'm now focused on the problem. I'm focused on the pain. I'm focused on the crap that this situation has turned into. And my emotional intensity is really high. And I'm going to give myself six hours because it's going to take me four hours to set up the conference call, send emails, talk to Phoenix, brief my boss, talk to the customer, which is going to take about four hours. And I'm going to take two hours and go to lunch and be really angry with my coworker about how terrible my life is and how this got screwed up. And you can now look at this energy equation, the value you just created for yourself, where in the morning where you thought you were doing a lot of wealth creation and got a two, you go deal with life and it's a negative one times eight times six. You just created a negative 48 and this is the Richter scale. This is like 480 times worse. And so you say, but Bill, it's a problem. Phoenix really did screw up. But I told you, 
you already do much of this unconsciously. Remember in the morning, we said the process when you go through it, when the emotion is over there, out of your body, over there, that's called dissociation. When you put all the emotions in your body, that is association. So we had a disassociated wealth creation intention and exercise. And then we spent six hours at work in an associated state with a disaster problem pain filled creation. You just need to do the opposite. Reverse the process. So it looks something like this. You're going to come into the office feeling great because you spent an hour manifesting money and you're going to open up your email and it's going to look something like this. I'm feeling great. I wonder how that order went. Oh, it's really good and excited. And you're going to go, huh, this is a huge disaster. Oh, hmm. They screwed the order up. Whew, that's bad. The boss is going to be furious. The customer is going to be furious. Oh, I'm like, oh, Oh, this is awful, man. I'm, I'm going to be, this is terrible. Now, first of all, did my cube mate hear, feel, sense what I was going through and jump in and make it worse for me? No, because I'm not projecting and I'm not creating and intensifying negative emotion. Secondly, I'm not going to go to lunch and want to complain with the guy because I do have to deal with the problem. I do have to brief the boss, brief the client, but I don't have to do it in a negatively associated emotional way. And so now when you look at the equation of what I really created, it's still a minus one because I'm focused on the problem and the pain and everything, but I've got no emotional intensity and I only get four hours there because I'm not complaining at lunch. So just by dissociating from the emotional intensity of what my pain would be and putting it over there, I just got a negative eight. I decreased my value by over six fold, which is 60. I decreased the pain of my life. And so now I'm looking at an equation of two and minus eight. But if I know how to dissociate and associate consciously, now what I can do is I can sit in the morning and as I begin my meditation of wealth and money, think of this. When I'm sitting there going, oh, money, 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 when Ed McMahon walks in and gives you the $10 million check, do you sit there and go, oh, money, 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 I feel so good? Or do you get out of a chair? And does the emotion actually flow in your body of like, oh, yes, oh, this feels so good, this is great. Oh man, money's coming in and the deals and I feel myself walking across the stage and, and this is happening and, and the check that I wrote, oh, I can feel the little leg on my, the little kid on my leg and he's going, oh, Bill, thanks for the check. And I'm going, oh, it feels so. And now look at the emotional intensity of what is feeling good. Was that a dissociated state? Was that over there? Or was I experiencing wealth and money in my body? And now you look at the equation and it becomes one Time's a high emotion, I'm still only there for an hour. But by simply controlling my emotional state and intensity, I now have an eight balancing a minus eight, whereas before unconsciously, I had a two battling a negative 48 to try and create what I want. And the last piece of this, if you really want to be a master, I said, that you could do this in your sleep, you could do this unconsciously, and you can also do this even more powerfully because I want you to think about this exercise. I'm gonna do it one last time. I'm at work, I opened up my email, I did the plus eight, so like I'm on fire, I'm vibrating like you can't believe. It's exciting to be me because money, wealth, power, everything that I want, I'm creating and it's happening right now in my body. So when you're in that state and you open up your email, you look like this. Oh, I can't wait to feel like this because I got this great deal and my three day week was off the hook, was off the chart, I'm so excited to be me. You open it up and you go, oh my God, huge disaster going on in Phoenix. This is awesome. I told the customer that I could fix this problem. I told my boss, I'm gonna be a hero today. The boss is gonna think I'm amazing. Phoenix, I'm gonna cover their back. They're gonna love me. Ah, 
I can't wait to fix this. This is gonna be the most incredible. This is awesome. This disaster is custom made for me because I'm going to be a superstar. What's my emotional intensity meter? It's the same as the example. And let's say it's really hard for you the first time you do it. Maybe you can't take that to, this is a positive thing. Maybe you can only take it to a six. But the minute you really focus on this as a solution, the minute you focus on it that this is an opportunity, the minute you focus on your greatness in this moment, you flip the minus one to a one. And so now you've got one times six times four. You go to a world where you've got a, a went from a plus two minus 48 to an eight and eight balancing out to a zero. You now have a world where you've got an eight and a 24 operating for you. You are creating life all the time at a plus 32. And in that place where you manifest what you want and you control your emotions and you know when to dissociate and take emotions out of your body and you know when to put positive emotions in and you know how to attract and create solutions and you know how to diminish and discard problems, now you drive in your car and you're not focused on, oh, please, I don't, I don't want to lose this deal. I don't want this to be a bad afternoon for me. You drive in your car. You talk to your friends. You self-talk to yourself with high emotional intensities. And to the extent that even you're not like me, you may not be a Tupperware convention because I've been accused of being a Tupperware convention, but we're like, oh, everything's exciting and wonderful. Again, whether it's the fist of doom or it's just that centered, calm, satisfied, content, like I am powerful. I create what I want. I teach what I want. My kids are getting what they want. And every problem, every obstacle that arises in my place, I am a master at problem solving because I always get my solutions. And you can associate and disassociate to the emotionals in those states. You're going to discover that your ability to create power, to create results are off the hook. And this is yet just another powerful tool, another example. Go to my website, contact me, call me, tell me what your challenges and your problems are. I promise you how you succeed on this planet is not based on gifts or talents or anything that you thought it was before. It's learning to master and mastering tools that you unconsciously practice today. But for many of us, we're upside down, we're in the half empty part of the glass and we're doing negative things that do not allow us to create and have what we want. Focus on your emotional intensity and put it in the positive request and spend a lot of time there and watch what begins to happen with your life. Thank you.